Hi. Alright, so if you guys are watching this video, we did a shape, then we reflected it. Now we are moving to rotating it. I learned this trick from Miss Muhammad. Um, you guys can use it. It takes a bit of some practice and some scratch paper, like a little piece like this. And it makes it a little easy, but um, it also uh, kind of keeps you on track. So uh, what I'm doing is I kind of made it more darker for the for y'all to see. Um, a, B, C, D, E. Um, and I have the points at where it's at. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper right here that I have, put it on top, and trace. One, two, three, it's a little hard to see. Four, five, five points, right? And then um, if I recall correctly, my I'm going to label them so I have them. A, B, C, D, and E. And now the kind of cool part, uh, and I'll switch colors here for you to see. 90 degrees and rotations can be quite confusing but think of it as like sitting in a chair, right? Um, if I'm looking this way, I'm straight forward. If I'm looking to the right, I'm going clockwise, like 90 degrees. Um, and you'll see as I uh, draw this little tip. So I'm going to start. I'm going to... The instructions might say something like, uh, rotate your shape 90 degrees at point A. I'm going to say that again. Rotate your shape at 90 degrees clockwise at point A. So the trick is draw a T at point A, draw a T, and if you notice, I have my shape pointing up to the right, bottom, and to the left. Now, I'm going to clockwise turn this. I'm actually going to go... 180 degrees so turn your shape counterclockwise and i'm gonna draw the t right here too okay and this is my point a remember so i'm gonna rotate my shape 90 degrees 180 degrees clockwise clockwise is to the right so that's 90 and here's 180. So I just now clockwise rotated my shape 90 degrees, like 90 degrees was this way, and then 180 degrees like backwards. Think of it like when you're jumping. So if you jump uh, and spin, that's a 180 degree spin. So I spun this uh, shape right here. I didn't reflect it, because now all the points are in different places and it's a different place on the plane. Now the hard part is creating the points again. So I kind of have to match up. Sometimes you're able to trace it better on this paper. But if you have the points and you know where the points are at, I know that I just turned it around. And I know that A to C is 1, 2, 3, uh, one, two, three 4. So I'm going to go down 1, two three four and i know that's um my a is still at the same spot my c is down here now i know my d goes up one and to the left two so one two that's d i know my e goes down one and over two one two here's my e I'm going to go up one, two, three, four to get my B. One, two, three, four. This is my B. I know B and A connect. So I'm going to connect those dots. I'm going to connect A and C because they connect. I'm going to connect D and E because they connect. And then B and E again. So that's how I rotated it. I created a T. I rotated it. I, you can leave your pen here and rotate it to the right, that's 90. Here's 180. This is uh, 270. 
And then this is a 360 degree turn. Just like a trick, right? A 360 turn. You're back at your starting point. Thanks, guys. Hope that helps.